Right, here we are in uh, uh, Bantayan Island. Uh, Madre Dios is the town. This is my neighbor's house here. She has a really nice house, very nice lady. And then right here is my property. All the palm trees, these are little palm trees, uh, no taller than this tree, 2012. They were short like that, babies, and now they've grown pretty good. Some of them uh, much bigger than others. And this is my beach, and this is my yellow bell. That's a plant that I planted before. It's got the yellow flowers on it. It's called a yellow bell. So because my beach is called Sunset Beach, I have all yellow flowers. But this is my beach lot right here, as you can see. Uh, it goes through the ocean there. And if we uh, walk through here real quickly. And now this is uh, after the hurricane came and destroyed everything that I built. This was all, uh, if you look at my uh, early YouTube videos, you'll see the party at the beach. And uh, this was all clean, pretty much white sand. And uh, everything, cabana, had a fence along here, uh, barbecue grill, volleyball, uh, everything. But now it's all these flowers. In the United States, they actually sell these, but they grow wild here. They're called vinca. And they have the pink and the white uh, all over. And uh, here's the beach, but because nobody cleans it, it's got all the seaweed from who knows how long. So I have to clean all this up and clean the beach again and uh, uh, build the fence, build the cabanas, build the barbecue grills, get everything back up so we can rent. There's a boat I may use for some uh, props. Who knows? It's nice. Make it look like a shark bit or something. Pretend that. And uh, here's the crab traps. This is my neighbor and friend Dodong. He's got this boat and he just went fishing, just came back. But uh, you can see these are the thorn trees again. I had to clear those out. This whole thing was solid thorn trees before when I uh, bought the property uh, in 2010. And then in 2012, I came back and cleaned it all up. But as you can see, it's all turned into flowers and some weeds here and there, so a lot of flowers. And then my coconut trees here, my volleyball uh, poles that I had built back in 2012. And you can see on the thing it says property. If you can read that, property of Sunset Beach. I scratched it in with a, a nail. And here's my Sunset Beach sign. Isn't this sad? That's the sun. <laughs> there's the word beach. There's the pieces of my Sunset Beach sign. It's all uh, deteriorated into a pile, but it'll be resurrected soon. Here's my cornerstone property marker, that little round country thing right there. That's the corner of my property. And uh, oh, there's my main uh, one. And I swear somebody cut my yellow bell down on the corner here. I had another yellow bell like that over here and some, what's the problem with these people? You bring them in and you tell them to clear the beach and they'll cut down anything. I mean, they'll cut down, you know, banana trees because they don't know the difference between something you want and something you don't want. And they just start cutting everything down. You, you have to really hold them by the hand and tell them, don't touch this, don't touch that, do touch that, you know, that kind of stuff. They, they don't uh, uh, exercise. Uh, you know, judgment that you might want to keep a beautiful flower uh, that, you know, you planted. So anyway, we're back at the beach. Tomorrow, hopefully, we'll have enough people to get all this stuff off of here. And then uh, I've got, have to have rakes made. I actually have to make rakes. And uh, there's a dog. All right, here's day two of beach cleanup. And we got everybody out here working on the beach cleaning it up and getting all the weeds out and stuff and then after that they gotta get all the trash up and then they gotta get all the rocks up so they're cleaning it all up we got about I think, 15 people from one team we got two teams here uh, one we both of them we found along the roadside uh, uh, on the Titan Island they actually take sort of good care of the roads and the high highways and they clean all the grass and but they cut it all by hand 
So I've had these mache eddies and they basically do what that guy's doing there, just stick the knife in the sand and flip up the sand and get all the grass out and put it in a pile. Alrighty, we're at the uh, afternoon of day two now and uh, as you can see they've cleaned quite a bit of the beach, still not done, but this is kind of a sunny, hot part of the uh, property. So uh, they've kind of moved over to the shady part, but it's looking good. The, uh, the ocean's uh, high tide again. It's really looking pretty out there. The kind of turquoise, and I don't know if you can see it uh, through the camera, but uh, through my eyes, it's, it's very pretty. <laughs> so uh, this is, uh, uh, I guess, kind of almost like day one of the cleanup. Over here, this is the, the main lot, all the way from there. And across, 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 over to the white fence there. So, uh, you can see before, from the previous video, that this was just, I mean, you couldn't walk through it, especially this side. Well, every side. And now we got all, all of the rocks up in a big pile here. We use these for concrete uh, filler. You throw these in with the concrete, and uh, that way you don't use much concrete when you're uh, setting uh, things up. They clean this whole line down here. Cleaned all the, the stuff out of the sand here. Looking really nice. Here's the, the pile of brush from this end of the main lot. And they're still, still collecting. Everybody's cleaning the stuff up. She's uh, trimming the tree, which I'd rather not do. Sometimes just let them do it, you know, too much control. Doesn't work good. There's a coconut tree that fell down. And everybody's cleaning all the grass up. They're just kind of starting this way and working towards the, uh, towards the back. 